Just finished, yeah. Good afternoon. The Security Council has instructed me to uh, read out the following press statements. The members of the Council condemned in the strongest terms the killing of a unifil Spanish peacekeeper, which occurred in the context of fire exchanges along the Blue Line on 28th January 2014. The members of the Security Council expressed their deepest sympathy to the family of the fallen peacekeeper and to the government of Spain. The members of the Security Council looked forward to immediate completion of UNIFIL's full and comprehensive investigation to determine the facts and circumstances of the incident. Thank you. One, I mean, if, if you're willing to about the statement, if you can characterize the discussion of, of who may have been responsible for the artillery, but separately, and I think probably, uh, uh, Mr. K had said that he was given questions before his briefing on, on Somalia, and he, see, he seemed to think this was the first time and was a Chinese initiative to focus briefers on, on the topic at hand. Is, is that the case, and do you, do you ent expect to be doing it with all future briefers this month? Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Uh, this press statement is a result of the comprehensive work by members of the Security Council. We all worked together. I think it's natural that uh, in the process of working out a very important press statement, council members would have different focuses. And, but what's important is that this end result is the consensus view of the Security Council. And it sends out an important impact to value our peacekeepers and also to indicate that the council stands firmly behind our peacekeepers. Uh, as for the second question, indeed, uh, we introduced a new method in the work of the Security Council. What we did was to collect questions regarding the briefing this morning uh, from the council members, and we sent these um, questions to the briefer yesterday for the briefer to have time to prepare so that the briefing would be more focused uh, would um, be uh, more um, uh, related to what the council members have in mind in order for the council to make a big impact on the situation on the ground. The uh, briefing was very, uh, the two briefings were very comprehensive, and there was a thorough uh, and comprehensive discussion in the Security Council this morning on the situation in Somalia. Uh, we are glad to see that um, even though the situation is still difficult and the Somalian government and people face serious challenges, but there are improvements in the situation in Somalia. Uh, ac actually, the extraordinary special session of the IGAD Council of Ministers in uh, Mogadishu was an indication of the kind of confidence that IGAD um, has in the improvement of the situation in Somalia. And this indicates that the efforts of the Somalian government and people, the efforts of the international community, United Nations, AU, are pointing in the right direction and are, translated, are being translated into concrete progress in Somalia. So uh, it is the view of the council members that the council and the international community should still keep the strong commitment to help the government and people in Somalia to improve the situation on the ground and also to work in areas of fighting Shabab, uh, state building, improving the humanitarian situation, and also to uh, carry out reconstruction uh, after peace and also to uh, make sure that uh, the longer term developmental goals will be based on more solid ground. Uh, it is encouraging that the council members uh, uh, have strong consensus in what the international community need to do, what the UN and EU need to uh, coordinate more to help the government and people in, in Somalia. And China is certainly very happy that um, uh, the Security Council is uh, doing the things to help 
uh, Somalia. China has reopened its embassy in Mogadishu, and we have been providing humanitarian assistance to Somalia and also to uh, help the Somalian people with capacity building uh, in terms of training uh, personnel in various fields. And we certainly will work, uh, continue to work with the AU, with the United Nations, and with the um, other members of the international community to help the Somalian people to achieve peace, uh, security, and development down the road. Thank you. Ambassador, yeah. Ambassador, when do you Statement on, on Lebanon. When do you expect the report on the incident to be handed over to the Security Council? And do you expect the Security Council to issue that report publicly? Well, the uh, Council, of course, will follow up these events according to the working procedure of the Council. Is that going to be a council uh, action, or is it going to be an internal UN? Uh, there's a procedure to trigger council action, and we certainly will, will follow that. Thank you.